Scatter graphs and correlation, Grade D GCSE, Level 6 National Curriculum. Here we have a question um, where we have a scatter graph drawn for us um, about how to read in eight books. Now, scatter graphs have two variables. We have the number of pages read, in this case, against the amount of time taken. Um, describe the relationship between the number of pages in the book and the time how it takes to read it. So when we have this sort of connection where the, the the values are going up to the right. So if we could draw a line of best fit like this, this is called positive uh, correlation. If the values were going, if the, if the line was going down to the right, then that would be negative correlation. And if the if the if the values were just spread around randomly, so there was no direction, then we would say there was no correlation. Now this doesn't actually mention the word correlation, so you can get away with saying just describing it by saying the number as the number of pages increases, the time increases. But it's much simpler if you know the word uh, correlation to describe it than just say positive correlation, and that will get you the mark. Okay, Harriet reads another book. The book has 150 pages. Estimate the time it takes for Harriet to read. So here we should draw in a line of best fit onto our data. Now sometimes it can be quite tricky to draw a line of best fit, but this data is very nicely spread so that you can keep the data even across the two lines, across the other side of the line. Um, if there is a tendency for some people just to join the first and last dot up, uh, that's not a good idea. Try to try to try to keep the same amount of points outside the line. Think about an oval drawn around the points and drawing a line through the middle of it, and that should help you get the right position. It's not vital for it to be exact, but um, it should be fairly close. So 150 pages. Again, let's draw a line in for this. Let's use 150 pages to come up to our line, and then we need to come across from there and read that off here. Now be careful with the scale. We've got a scale here of 10 squares for two things. So let's actually start down the bottom here. So each five squares is one. So each square is going to be 0.2. So if we count back from eight, we get 7.8, 7.6 hours for that. Okay. There is quite a range of uh, values allowed for this. You're allowed to get anything from 6.5 up to 8.5, dependent on your line that you draw, because not everybody's going to draw the same line. But so long as you've got your line drawn in, draw the lines on the show that you're reading the value, you should get the two marks here.